Hey everyone, Bricknut here. I hope you're all doing fine. We're still on lockdown in the UK, at least for another two weeks. Um, unless things drastically change, it might be a lot longer than that. Anyway, I'm still here. Um, but I apologise for missing three uploads. Last week, I actually can't remember why I didn't upload. I remember putting a status up on the Facebook page, but I can't remember what I said. <laughs> and Tuesday just gone, I just completely forgot about doing a video. It just completely went out of my head. Um, yeah, this lockdown has really taken a toll on me uh, psychologically, I think. It's not helping, because uh, for those that don't know, I actually have autism. And that is not helping either at the minute. Uh, but, uh, one of the, uh, what shall I call it? Not side effects, one of the uh, symptoms? Traits, that's what I'll call it, a trait of autism. Some of us can actually have a very poor short-term memory. <clears throat> and uh, I do, unfortunately, have a very bad short-term memory. Um, but with everything going on at the minute, it seems to have gotten a lot worse. Because uh, I don't know how all of you feel out there, but I just feel like every day is just the same, that there's no difference. And it is absolutely driving me nuts. I'll be glad when all of this is over. Um, anyway. Apart from that, I am okay. I've been doing things to try and keep myself occupied. I haven't done anything on the uh, Hornby Railway layout. I have got some jobs I can get on with. I've just been um, doing other things. I've actually been playing with some computers. I've got some stuff um, winging its way to me in the mail, computer-wise, related I should say. Uh, I've not done anything with the LEGO City. <coughs> Excuse me, my voice is going croaky. Um, I did buy a couple of bits for my steam train here. When I bought the Power Functions motor it didn't come with the little the side trims. Um, I'm not sure what they're called. They go on either side of the uh, motor just to make it look a lot better. So um, I had to buy a couple of those separately and I've bought those and fitted them. And I've uh, given it a run around the track but it is currently using, or at least the um, coach is using the cheap wheels, not the proper Lego wheels. I think that's actually affecting the um, performance as well as squeaking like mad as it goes around the track. So, going to have to change those. I'm actually thinking of rebuilding that coach anyway, because I want at least two. I've already got the one. I know I've got some bases that I can use, so... That can be a project for the near future, I think. Get some uh, coaches built up. But I bet I don't have enough to make at least two. <laughs> enough parts, that is. Two identical, that is. Anyway. What I've decided to do, as I am being quite forgetful, is that if I do forget to do a video for, say, Tuesday, I'll do one for Wednesday. So I'll move it to the next day. Um... And I'm going to do the same. If I get delayed for whatever reason, I'll try and move it to the next day instead of just leaving it. So you guys will always have something to watch. If not on the main upload day, the next day. Um, and the same for Friday. If I fail to produce a video for Friday, then I'll do it for, we um, for Wednesday. For Saturday, not Wednesday. That's not the uh, day that comes after Friday, is it? Anywho, I've still got that fire station on the side here, it's just over here off camera. Um, to do the review on, I actually haven't touched it, it's still just 
sat there. So I need to uh, make some space on this desk because I've got all sorts on here. One of the things I've been doing is um, restoring a few matchbox cars. <clears throat> because I do like to collect die cast cars. At least matchbox size, not necessarily the brand, but matchbox size. I'll collect all sorts of brands actually. Corgi, Majorette. It doesn't even have to be a main brand like that. If I like the look of it, I'll buy it. But uh, I'll just show you what I've been up to. Just grab one. I've done five so far, but I've run out of uh, some equipment. So here it is. Fully restored. And on display. What year is this one? 1972, this one. And it was rather rough. It's actually missing the tow hook, but I'm not too fussed about that. So and I'm actually going to do some custom builds with some of these as well. I've, I'm getting really into that. <coughs> Excuse me. But I need some uh, equipment. I'm running out of stuff. And uh, it's not easy getting it at the minute. Because the mail servers is slow. Which is one of the reasons I actually haven't uh, ordered any Lego. Because I would order it from Lego themselves. But... Last I heard, I don't know if things have improved, but last I heard, they're actually taking seven days just to get things out of the warehouse. They were that swamped, but like I said, I haven't heard anything recently, so I don't know if things have improved. Um, otherwise, I'd have been buying some uh, Lego sets to build. Probably quite a few of. The only thing I have bought, and I got this yesterday when I did my groceries, is this. One of these uh, Star Wars micro fighters. Not really into Star Wars, but it was quite a fun little build. I'll do a little review on that. That actually came from Lidl's, which is a chain store here in Europe. I don't know how many other European countries they are in, but I believe they're in France as well as the UK. And I know they're in Germany because that's where they originate from. It's a um, German chain store. Very good store. Um, but I got that for £6.99 in Lidl's. How they are selling sets at that price, I don't know. Because anywhere else, it's £8.99. Or in Sainsbury's, it's £9. Because they like to stick the extra penny on top. Which I actually don't mind. Because <laughs> I like nice round numbers anyway. Um... Sainsbury's at the minute I've only got one more of these and I can't remember which one but uh, I've actually noticed that uh, whenever I've been in there to do my groceries the um, Lego shelf has been dwindling so I'm guessing a lot of bored kids out there and bored parents and prob probably bored AFOLs as well but, uh, yeah, that was actually quite a nice little build. I did enjoy that. I've actually got a little Lego creator set to build as well. And I've still got my Spider-Man mech to build as well. So, still lots to do, but I will admit, I just haven't been feeling that motivated lately. I've had several days where I have literally just woken up and just sat here at the PC. Um, yeah, just... Lack of motivation. I think it's just the fact that, you know, as I said, every day is just basically the same. Ah, I'm glad when it's all over and we can all just go back to our normal lives. That will be great. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here so I don't ramble on too much. Because uh, if you follow my um, Life of an Englishman channel, I tend to ramble. So... Uh, I'm going to end the video here, so thanks a lot for watching. As always, I'm going to leave a link to the Discord server for this channel and the Facebook page, because I do put updates and share interesting things to the Facebook page. Um, 
I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> I haven't lost that train, but I've lost the train of thought up here. Anyway. A bit hard to lose a bright red train, really, isn't it? Um, <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot for watching, and I will talk to you in the next one. Which will hopefully be Tuesday. Bye.